Hello everyone, I am Shubham Mante here to present my paper. Currently, I am Master's Research Student at International Institute of Information Technology, Hyderabad, India, working under Dr. Aftab Hussain, who heads Patriot Lab at Center for VLSI and Embedded Systems Technologies. The topic of my paper is Energy Monitoring Using LoRaWAN Based Smart Meters and 1M2M Platform. In this paper, we present a novel energy monitoring approach employing LoRaWAN enabled smart energy meters and a 1M2M based platform for collecting and analyzing the data. A traditional meter measures the amount of electricity being consumed by a consumer. At the time of bill generation, a representative from the utility company must physically check the meter and take a reading. If a visit is not possible, the utility company raises an invoice based on estimated consumption. This can be disadvantageous for both the consumer and the company. Smart meters on the other hand transmit information remotely to the utility office so that they can generate bills without actually visiting the consumer's home. The company has no risk of approximately generating the bills and no risk of human error affecting the bills. Energy usage data helps in achieving better efficiency, minimizing load on the grids, providing faster resolutions to sudden power outages, and lowering the cost for consumers using demand-based dynamic pricing. The proposed novel protocol data unit format consists of 46 bytes as shown in the image on the screen. Each cluster of bytes representing an electrical parameter which are instantaneous values of individual phase currents and voltages, average power factor, average frequency, instantaneous values of apparent and real power, and cumulative values of reactive, total, and conventional energy consumption. In the proposed metering architecture as shown in the figure on the screen, energy consumption data has been captured and formatted in the PDU format through LoRaWAN enabled three-phase energy meters compliant with the IS-16444 standard. This data is transmitted to the network server through the LoRaWAN gateways installed on campus. On the network server, the data is formatted into a JSON object that holds the information related to energy parameters. The data packet with the best signal-to-noise ratio is then forwarded to the proxy server. The proxy server first converts the hexadecimal information of the PDU into decimal values, then reformats the JSON object to comply with the 1M2M standard and forwards it to OM2M platform. The data can then be accessed by cloud application for analysis or visualization. The RSSI values of all the transmissions from one meter have been analyzed to conclude that approximately 76% of them were in the ideal range as shown in figure 1. The line graphs in figure 2 indicate the 7-day moving average of energy consumption. From the graph, we could analyze the reduced power consumption in the month of May due to the reduced student strength on campus because of the second wave of COVID-19 in India. We have planned to scale up the current deployment to 100 energy meters without the need for additional infrastructure. We have also planned to incorporate the interworking proxy entity, enabling the communication between non-1M2M device and the 1M2M platform. That brings us to the end of the presentation. Thank you so much for your interest and attention. Any questions?